So on this last one, now we have two radicals, yes? Okay. And what's the difference if the radical's in the numerator compared to the denominator? Yeah, denominator, you would just say greater than 0, not equal to. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have um, x minus 3 is greater than 0. 2 minus x is greater than or equal to 0. And then also, what if happens if x is 0 here? Does that make the denominator equal to 0? So guess what? Like if you were to solve, like you could set this, you could set the whole thing equal to 0. But what you'd notice is x equals 0 is going to make, when x is equal to 0, that makes the whole denominator equal to 0. So in this case, I have x plus 3. Oops, I'm sorry. x is greater than 3. x is less than or equal to 2, because I already did one of those. So I have x has to be less than or equal to 2, but x has, crap. Oh, did I pick the wrong numbers? Dang it. Was that supposed to be? Sorry. That was supposed to be a negative. x has to be greater than negative 3, less than 2. There you go. Sorry about that. So if I go to 0, that's supposed to be 1, 2, 3, negative 3. And then go to 2. That's enclosed, but then it also cannot equal 0. So it looked like this. So my domain is from negative 3 to 0, and then from 0 to 2. Um, before you guys put things away, I'd recommend you guys have this written down if you didn't already.